Yeah, Chris, I got to tell you, I got to admit, from November to March, I'm a freeze baby. I carry with me each day to work the equivalent of really full ski gear because I never know where we're going to be, how long we're going to be there, especially out in the elements. So this job, in a sense, makes you prepared for what it is that we are facing. The question you have to ask yourself, are you? For most, our exposure to the cold consists of quick doses, running in or out of wherever it is we're going so we can get away without wearing hats or gloves. But what if that car you rely on so much for shelter were to break down or get a flat? What if you slipped and fell running out to get the mail? We see it a couple times a year. Problem of fires, Doug Turner says when it happens. In this type of weather, it will only take a couple minutes, really, to be hypothermic. To show you, we use Parma's thermal imaging camera that used to find fires in walls. It detects heat in behind stuff, and it also gives us an idea of how hot the object is that we're uh, pointing it at. Tonight, that object was me. <laughs> Dressing up in full winter gear as I do for most 11 o'clock live shots. The thermal camera showing the heat that I'm losing in the single degree temperatures. Right now your face is, well in this it's white, which just means there's more heat coming off your face. The coats, snow pants and gloves though remain dark, which means they're keeping the heat in. Remove them though and wear what I might put on to run out to get the mail and you see where the heat is leaving, which is essentially everywhere. As a result, after just four minutes... It's showing that your facial temperature is, is colder now, closer to 90 degrees. At five minutes, I asked him to check my ears, which were now beginning to hurt. Yeah, see the outline of his earlobe? And then also, it's around his jaw, you see the different coloring around his jaw? That's why in the weather like this, I swear by these things on the ears especially, but in weather like this, it only takes a couple of minutes for the hypothermia to set in. So if you're going to be going out to get the mail, take a couple of seconds, put on the coat. Also, if you have an extra coat, you really want to keep one in the back of your car because you never know, again, when you might need it. Also, keep some water and some food. You know the drill, but it's best to be prepared this time of year, especially when we head into this deep of a freeze. Reporting live in Garfield Heights, John Kosick, News Channel 5.